Hey, what's up everybody? Sick Eric back again with another video and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new LG V60 5G dual screen. I'm just going to call it the LG V60 because that's a long ass name and this is the official uh, packaging that comes from T-Mobile and uh, Surprisingly enough, there is no T-Mobile on his outer sleeve, but this is the official packaging. It's going to come in if you ordered it from T-Mobile. Uh, I got the uh, classy blue variant, as you can see right there. 128 gigs, eight gigabytes of RAM, uh, blue kit. So uh, let's go ahead and dive in, unbox this and check it out. And I'm very, very excited. I've not been this excited for a smartphone in quite a while. So let's go ahead and cut this open. And there's another piece of tape up here. And keep in mind guys, this was shipped. So I went ahead and took some extra precautions and uh, I went ahead and wiped this box down with some sanitizing wipes just to be safe. And the box that it came in, I handled that with gloves. You cannot be too careful. Uh, think about all the uh, shipping, shipping stuff you get, you know, boxes and packages you get. Be safe with those, handle them safely, and you should be okay. So let's go ahead and take this sleeve out. And then automatically you are greeted with dual screen, still taped on here all of this damn tape. So we're gonna set this aside. Now I'm very excited for this because I've never had a uh, case that's an extra screen like this before. It's pretty cool. I've never had anything like that. And here we go, the LG V60 5G. You got eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, Snapdragon 865 5G chip in here. 6.88 inch display so this is a huge phone comparable to the samsung s20 ultra so this is a beast of a phone 5000 milliamp hour battery which is just insane uh really really good specs you got two cameras on the back one main sensor uh one uh which is the main sensor is 64 uh, megapixels and then the other sensor is your ultra wide and then you also have time of flight sensors on the back as well. So you get your cleaning cloth right on top. So I have quite a few of these. I'm gonna toss that aside. And then here is the device itself wrapped in plastic. And honestly, I'm very, very excited. Like I said, it does not feel too big of a chunker actually. It's really slim. So let's go ahead and set that aside. And I'm gonna go ahead and start rating my unboxings as far as presentation goes. Uh, for instance, like an Apple, you know, product would be uh, one through five. Five, of course, being the uh, the best. Apple will probably be about a five. Samsung a four. Uh, Google Pixel about a four. You know, this. Let's go ahead and check out what's in the box. So you get your SIM card your second year promise from LG, as you can see right there. And then you also get some manuals and stuff along with your SIM ejection tool, welcome start guide, stuff like that. And then let's go ahead and set that aside. You also get your charger brick, which is 25 watt fast charging. So that is also excellent right there, enough to charge this beast of a battery, 5,000 milliamp hour, and it is USB-C to USB-C. So that's a different, that's different from most of LG uh, charging bricks right there. Usually they've been using the same charging brick for like three or four years already. So this is a nice change. And then you get your USB-C to USB-C cable. Everything is in white. Sadly, you do not get any headphones since this is one of the only devices to offer an headphone jack. You do not get any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and put all this crap back inside. We'll keep the charger out. Put this back in. 
So that is that. And let's go ahead and take a look at the device really quick before we open the dual charger on here. Got a lot of dirt on his desk. Probably should clean his desks every now and then. Uh, take the tape off. And here is the device, throw that aside. And then all these damn stickers that I've been seeing everybody have on here, which is very annoying. Obviously you can't remove the battery on these. If you try to, you are a complete moron. Take that off. And then take the IMEI sticker off. And there we go. Now this is, like I said, classy blue color. Uh, the way T-Mobile did it is they sell the device by itself for $7.99 and you could get it in what classy white and classy blue. If you buy the bundled set with the dual screen, it is only the classy blue. Yeah, I don't know why they did that, but they did do that. And man, this thing is beautiful. Really, really nice. Hopefully you guys can see that. Really, really excellent looking device. It looks a little bit more blue, I'm assuming, on the camera that you guys are seeing, but it is a little bit more of a darker, like a khaki blue, I guess, if makes, that makes any sense. So a little bit quick of a rock, walk around. Fingerprint sensor is underneath the display. It's gonna be my first time using a device from LG with an end screen fingerprint sensor, so that's gonna be pretty interesting. Uh, 10 megapixel front facing camera can record 10K. I mean, <laughs> I wish you could record 10K, uh, 4K at 30 frames per second, rear camera, uh, 4K, 30, 60, and 8K at 25, 26 frames per second, but it'll dumb it down to 24 is pretty much what the end product would be. So that is really, really cool. You got your time of flight sensor to help with depth and stuff like that, 3D sensing, and then your ultra wide along with your flash. You got your V60 branding on the back along with LG and why they're including the IMEI number at the bottom, I do not know, it's kind of annoying. At the bottom, you got your, uh, one of your speakers, downward firing speaker, USB type C and your headphone jack with that amazing quad DAC that we know and love from LG with some new 3D uh, sound engines on there. So that's gonna be pretty cool to check out. Uh, the frame and everything metal on here has this sort of a gold tint to it, which is really, really why I wanted this color, because it's really nice, it's really different, and uh, this looks really, really nice. This curve on the back, chamfered curve, just feels amazing. This phone is huge, but it does not feel big. Uh, quick comparison to the OnePlus, which is dirty as hell. 7 Pro, it definitely feels slimmer than the OnePlus 7 Pro, where then it's definitely taller as well and definitely a little bit thicker than the oneplus 7 pro uh probably width wise probably about the same maybe but it's definitely a beast of a phone this one feels really big but this one doesn't feel that bad uh you got your volume rockers on the left hand side along with your google assistant button power button over here and then you got four mics one up top one on the side and then one on the back somewhere and then one at the bottom down here so you get four microphones on here which is really really cool stereo speakers the other speaker is going to be at the top right here in between the frame so let's go ahead and power this on and uh, we'll jump on over to the dual screen i'll set this up and then we'll be back you know after that after we unbox this and i'll show you some of the uh, internal storage and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and unbox this as well. So this is the dual screen that they are offering, which is really, really cool. It's essentially a case with another screen added onto it. So that is really, really nice. And like I said, I'll set all this up and then give you an example of how this dual screen works. But for right now, let's go ahead and unbox this. And it is very, very reflective on the front, as you can see, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a huge fingerprint magnet. I would like to get a skin or something to cover this up, but I don't know if they'll make anything like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, it does move 
pretty good. You got your foam, quick start guide, set all this crap aside, and your cool little magnetic USB-C charging adapter for this. See if we could get this done. And yeah, it snaps in there. You connect this to your uh, cable, like so, and you are able to charge while your phone is in the case. So that is pretty nifty, pretty cool. Do not lose this or you'll be fucked. So yeah, really, really cool. Same exact display over here, which is a uh, 1080p POLED display, 6.8 inches. And uh, yeah, it is kind of, of a bummer that it is 1080p and not QHD, but it is what it is. LG makes excellent displays, so hopefully it won't even be noticeable. The 7T, uh, OnePlus 7T had a 1080p display and I didn't even notice it half the time, so. All right, so we're back into the device. We're gonna go ahead and set it up. I've already put in my Wi-Fi information and my Google information. So now we're gonna set up the fingerprint center, sensor on here, add fingerprint, and then we're gonna do a pin. Go ahead and type in my pin, next. And then there we go. Now we're gonna do screen lock has changed. So now we're gonna do the fingerprint sensor. And then you just hold, touch. And then it'll let you know whether or not you got it with the double vibration. And then you just keep doing that. And then now you do slightly around to capture the edges of your fingerprints. And then you are done. So we'll go ahead and see how that works. That device, it does not feel that big. For some reason, it's a huge screen, but it does not feel heavy. I mean, it, it's got some weight to it. It doesn't feel cheap or anything, but it definitely doesn't feel as big as I thought it would. Like for some reason, the OnePlus 7 Pro just feels huge. But uh, this one feels actually really good in the hand. And a little bit of a comparison to the OnePlus 7 Pro. And like I said, both big devices, but I like big devices, so not a problem. And there we go, fingerprint sensor does work really well. Maybe not as fast as the OnePlus 7 Pro, but it definitely works fast. Now keep in mind, it is an optical fingerprint sensor. It's not a ultrasonic like you have on the Galaxy S20 lineup or the S10 lineup or the Note 10 lineup. Uh, agree to all this crap. And then, of course, T-Mobile stuff, home and app drawer. And we are in, guys. Now, this phone is running Android 10 out of the box, so that is really, really nice. Let's swipe away all this crap, set up later. No SIM, of course, I haven't put it in yet. Now, this is running uh, LG's new UX. I guess UI UX 9 so the latest from LG sort of has this Samsung Samsung look to it which is really cool when you swipe down everything comes down with it so I'm really excited LG I've never been a fan of their UI so hopefully this changes a lot to bring everything a little bit more downward to a uh, look and feeling of the S uh, Galaxy S lineup and now on the home screen of your of LG launcher you do get Google feed over here now so that is really really cool that they're including that uh, let's see what kind of optimizations they have for the home launcher home screen launcher home screen lock prevents apps from blah 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 icon shape still cannot select an icon changer yeah it is what it is guys it is what it is uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the storage 29.42 gigabytes in use out of 128 you get 98.58 gigabytes free and you also get a micro SD card slot which is excellent um, all these phones that I've been getting right now do not have micro SD card slots it's very annoying so let's go ahead and take a look at the dual screen so I'm very very excited about this uh, construction of this seems pretty sturdy it doesn't seem flippily or floppily. Maybe this side does, 
but I'm pretty sure once you get the phone in, it'll be all right. So essentially, let's go ahead and, okay, start. What is this? How to use gestures, I already got gestures. Allow. Allow, allow. I don't know why I use an app. Allow, allow. All right, so let's get this, get this off auto, keep it on brightness. So the display does look really, really nice and it does get pretty bright as well. So no complaints here on this 1080p display. I think it'll do the job just fine. So in order to put this in, you just go ahead and slide the bottom in first into USB, click it down and then snap the top in. Now there is some tape you need to take off on the LG itself. And then once you do that, you'll get a little button down here on the side, click on that, and then you're gonna turn on dual screen. And bam! Now definitely with all of this connected on it, it definitely has some heft to it. So this is definitely a bit heavy to uh, hold. So you can't hold it one-handed, you do get a little bit more weight over here, shifting over here, but this is pretty cool actually. You could go on over to YouTube over here, and then say you over here you wanna to go to Play Store, start downloading stuff. Now this is really, really cool. Options for this is you could swap screens, and you could also do that by uh, swiping three fingers over, and then you could swap on over, same thing and it will keep the app over here that you were previously on. So that is pretty cool. Uh, other options on here is show main on dual. You can do that. Uh, show main on main. Click on that. And then put main to sleep or turn off dual screen. So that is really, really nice right there. Go ahead and go home on here and then go to Chrome. Okay, got it. Yes, I'm in, blah, blah, blah. So over here on Chrome, you can go app across both screens with wide view. Go to settings to turn on wide view. So we go to settings, wide view, go and click on all of these that support the full wide view on there. Go home. And then you should be able to do wide view on these, which I don't know why it's not doing it. Let's go ahead and go back to that screen, dual screen, timeout, wide view, everything is on. I don't wanna know about gestures, I already know about gestures, okay? Now these are all your dual screen settings on here, timeout, display timeout, everything should coincide with the main display. Uh, you got your wallpaper, my app picker, uh, my pick app or whatever, which means every time you do turn this on, it's going to go to that default app that you have set on. So that is pretty cool. Go and turn on always on display. I also missed that on my other devices. Video enhancer, turn that on. Screen timeout, change that to five minutes screen saver so these are some of the settings that you will find in the lg v60 typical stuff notifications apps lock screen uh let's go with display and always on display now you have all your different clocks right here analog clock digital clock you can set your own image really really cool show display tap for 10 seconds or always show we're gonna do always show quick tools and music that way when you're swiping on your always display, uh, you can do a brighter display or not. Click on this to customize the colors. You can change the colors around. We'll go ahead and keep it a bluish color. Uh, you can go different clock styles. Ooh, they got some new ones on here. Sorry guys, I'm very excited about having an always on display again. Let's go ahead and go with this one. And then we're gonna save. You can also get analog different analog clocks, which is really nice. And you do have some new ones. Go ahead, hit cancel on that. Back home, and so far, very, very snappy. Very, very nice. So here we go. Let's go ahead and just watch this video right here. 
so you know it's got a solid company backing it up. And another one that's a personal And then buttons over here on the side. Where you can build and customize your own Gundam, even down to the colors, weapons, whatever you want. And I'm not going to talk about this one too much, but I know there are Stereo some speakers. fans who follow me, so be sure to check it out, you guys. I spend way too much time on this one, as you'd expect. Now, let's get the gaming aside. We've got some entertainment apps, and let's ignore that one. That one has to go. But for those of you who want to watch... Really, music, really cool, guys. Really, really excellent. I wonder if this has the boom sound speaker. Uh, from the other LG devices that it always had. It definitely has some rumble to it. You can turn this all the way around. So if you want to have somebody else watch videos, you can do that. And there is an option over here somewhere that you can uh, you swipe up. You can rotate the display. So now you have the option to Play some video for there's somebody an else. In the app store. One of the apps that I found Which recently is, really, is really called cool. Tubi. This app has a bunch. So yeah, really, really cool stuff, guys. I'm very, very excited. Of course, if you want to just close it, you just go ahead and close it. You get an always-on display over here, with some information, clock, date, and battery life. So really, really nice. Uh, definitely has some thickness to it and some weight to it with the display. But uh, it definitely has some grip on it, so you won't be dropping this hoe uh, randomly. So as long as you have some grip on it, you should be all right. So really, really cool. All your button side over here is exposed, while over here you do have your buttons underneath the case. So really, really nice, guys. This is excellent. Of course, you open it up, put your fingerprint, and now you are good to go on here. So really, really cool. I'm very excited to use this, and I will let you guys know what my experience is using this device along with the dual screen as well. Very, very excited. Hope you guys stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and be sure to click that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And this has been the unboxing and fresh impressions of the LG V60. Thank you, 5G with the dual screen so just lg v60 from now on and the dual screen add on to it so with that being said guys give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed thumbs down if you had that's quite all right and i will see you guys in the next one peace